made possible by three for Hey everyone, Studios. welcome back to the channel. So those of you that are DJs or that do DJ mobile lighting or dance lighting or all that good stuff, you guys could probably benefit from this. This is a wireless DMX system for your lights. The cool part is, comes in a case to store it all, to keep it all right here. And we're going to talk about that. All right. This is from our good friends over at Van Gogh. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, it's kind of tricky to pronounce, but this, so has this really stuff in it. has in it, it around here for you. All of the DMX dongle thing. It is it's pretty sweet. So this is all your wireless DMX. Should be transmitter and receivers in here. Um, just got to figure out what's what. Um, these are very nice. Of course, none of these are battery operated. They are um, wireless. Of course, you can bend your antenna up. You plug these into the back of the um, light fixture you want, and they're wireless. So how cool is that? Then you put them right back in their hole. You'll never lose them. So we'll go ahead and look here. It looks like you get a little Allen wrench. Now that's to change the channel. So you get red, green, red, red, green, red, green, blue, red, blue, green, blue, red, green, blue channel. So you get seven channels. Um, and all that stuff. It is 2.4 gigahertz wife wireless DMX, 126 channel jumping frequencies automatically, uh, seven groups. Uh, that's your voltage, 2.4. So yeah, it also comes with the plugs. The plugs are all perfectly right here in the slot next to it. This is actually a really nice kit. Um, just need to figure out which one's a transmitter, and I'm guessing it's this one. I wish it would say transmitter. All right, guys. So we are back here in the studio, and we have a little um, deal set up here. We're going to talk about these wireless DMX receivers. Uh, we're going to talk about the transmitter. We're also going to talk about the receiver, how they work. So now the only thing that's bad about these is they plug in. If these were battery operated these would be really awesome but that, that doesn't mean there's such a downfall that doesn't mean that there's oh it's going to be super you know these are these are terrible it's not necessarily true because there's something cool about these that will work with a lot of other different things other than the transmitter so of course you all know how to work dmx you have a out and an in so this here with the little tab is your end. So I have a sheds, uh, I believe this is a, some sort of uh, like, it's a hex colored, it's a wash bar. We're gonna be using these at my next fifth quarter event in a really cool way. So make sure you are uh, subscribed to my DJ Fire account if you wanna see these uh, DMX receivers being used that way, because we're gonna use them in that event. Um, so what I did here is I have just plugged the unit into the DMX port on the light. Now this will work with moving heads, par lights, uh, laser fixtures. Uh, this will work with um, multiple different lights uh, that you know use DMX. So I also have the cable that it comes with plugged in to this. I have everything plugged in back here have the light plugged in. Now, I wanted to show you, now we're also gonna be using my analog DMX controller, which has wireless DMX built into it. So if you have a wireless DMX controller like this, or you have a dongle that already admits the 2.4 gigahertz wireless DMX tr uh, transmission, you will not have to use this. You can just use your controller and these and not have to use a transmission or transmitter 
but it does work with the transmitter. It also it is works built into this control, wife. which this is the uh, Rockville Rock Force W4 uh, that I've had for a long, long time. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up some on stuff here. On this light, or on this deal, I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to plug it here real quick. So you get a blue light right here. Now that is your channel selector. Now I was able to take a little pin or a screw and you can actually push, there's a little hole right here, right above the light. And if you just reach in there and push, there I change the color. Now each time you change the color, that means you're changing the DMX channel. So I have this one set on blue. Um, and then when you turn on your controller, so I'm going to turn on this controller with the DMX just on this before we use their, their receiver, just so you can see my controller as that little light in there is flashing green. It is talking to this controller without this. But if you have a controller that doesn't have wireless DMX, these you can use. You can just plug it into your port and go that way. So we're going to go ahead plug this into the DMX in, it locked in. I'm just going to leave that here. We're going to show you both of these. And you can also use these on DMX controllers that have DMX wireless built into them. Um, so we're going to go ahead. I kind of have a, some stuff already set up here. So we're going to go look at that wireless DMX. I've got a few lighting deals. So that's uh, scene two. I've got a black light set up. Again, wireless DMX signal coming out of here, out of this antenna, going into this antenna. We've got all different kinds of stuff. I do have a diode in here that is not working apparently. <clears throat> so, yeah. Then we've also got a strobe function set up as well. And then we've also got a an auto feature set up that I have pre-programmed using the wireless DMX um, receiver. So these are really, really cool. And the cool part is they come in a really awesome case. So when you're done, you just take them out, put them back on their little designated, fold your little antenna down, put them back in there. You're always going to have them for each event. So that's super, super cool. Now, say you have a controller that doesn't have wireless DMX like this controller does. Well, then you can use this. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to turn a wireless DMX right here on the controller off. That light should go back to black in just a second or blackout as it did. Going to We're going to turn in the controller light. off. Come on. There we go. I'm going to plug this into the out port on my controller. As you can see, it has a blue light lit up here, signaling it has signal. Now, as soon as I turn this on, this blue light is going to start flashing red. I hope you guys can see that as it disconnected with the, uh, the other unit, which means this unit is now talking to this unit, which is on the back of the light. And if you'd be like, oh, well, it ain't talking to it. It ain't working. I just hit a button on here and it wirelessly talked to my light. So again, all my different scenes that I had set up, my auto mode that we have set up here. Yeah, it, it, it works phenomenally. So go get these guys, check them out, link in the description. I'll give you some close-ups of the case and how it all goes in there. Um, I'm gonna be using these uh, next weekend uh, at a fifth quarter. We're gonna be using these lights uh, to do some really cool stuff on some trussing. Uh, we're gonna be flying some truss and we're gonna be using these so that I can make some cool shows. I just pre-programmed this here for this little video here. So it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to show you guys what we can do with it. If you've got time to hook up wireless DMX, you know, uh, wireless DMX is the newest thing. And I really think it's something that innovation is uh, going to grow with. 
Uh, again, really I want to say thank you to Van Gogh for sending these over. Uh, these things are really cool. Again, the case that they come with is very cool. You can put all your, your DMX dongles, that, I mean, got their name on there. You could probably have someone stitch what these are. Very, very nice padded deal. I meant very super nice. You can put your transmitter back in there. Put one of your receivers in there. Everything is nice. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven receivers, one transmitter. Um, it would be cool if they could, if you could opt out to get receivers instead of transmitters if you have a wireless DMX. Comes with all of the cables. Each cable comes, or each one comes with a cable. Now you're probably wondering how hard is it to get these cables back in the deal. Uh, and fold them right back down into the case as I just did there. So it is very simple to put everything back in there. Just reuse the uh, twist ties that they sent you. Just kind of make the cable small. Just back and forth like so. And fold them. Now I'll show you, you don't have to use a twist tie. You could just simply take them, fold them down in there. And then shut and zip your lid. You're ready to go. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll give you guys a close-up of all this stuff here uh, in the bag. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.